Hi, as the first MPBS university exams nearby, let's take a look at the blueprint and the question paper templates of anatomy. Let's begin with the blueprints. Here we have the blueprints for paper 1 and paper 2. Paper 1 will have questions covering these topics, general anatomy, general histology, general embryology, upper limb, thorax, including diaphragm, head and neck and neuroanatomy. And the marks division, if you just take a look, the maximum marks are allotted for the head and neck, which is about 29 followed by upper limb which is about 20, then thorax about 16 and neuroanatomy 13. Rest of the marks is split between general anatomy, general histology and general embryology. Compare this with paper 2. Paper 2 will have questions from systemic histology, systemic embryology, genetics, then lower limb, abdomen and pelvis and the marks division Majority of the marks is allotted for the abdomen 26 followed by lower limb which is 21 and pelvis which is 16. Most of the students make mistake of ignoring histology, embryology or genetics or even neuroanatomy for their exams. But let's take a closer look at this blueprint if we calculate the marks allotted for histology alone. Right? Histology, in general histology you have questions for about 6 marks and systemic histology for about 15, about 13 marks. So this will account for about 19 marks which comes from histology alone. Then when we take a look at the embryology, general embryology is for about 9 marks and systemic embryology is for about 15 and this accounts for 24 marks. So if you just observe, histology and embryology accounts for about 43 marks, right? And add gross anatomy, then genetics to it. Gross anatomy is 7 and then we have genetics which is about 9. So this will account for 59 marks. Right? So if you ignore histology, embryology, genetics or general anatomy, you will be losing out on 59 marks because gross anatomy, you will get questions only for 141 marks. Right? And if you prepare only for this 141, it is impossible to score 100 out of it. This is why you should never ignore histology, embryology, general anatomy or genetics because these are the scoring topics. Based on this blueprint, you will have a question paper which will look like this. So your question paper will have two sections. Let's say this is section A and this is section B. Section A has about 20 MCQs, right? And these 10, 20 MCQs you need to solve in 20 minutes and these carry 20 marks, right? This is how it looks. So first MCQs are given and then your answer papers will be collected and then you will be given this section 2 which will have the descriptive questions which will be for 80 marks and the time given is 2 or 40 minutes. So you will have plenty of time to answer your descriptive questions. The descriptive questions will be arranged like this. There will be two long essays which carry 10 marks each. There will be six short essays which carry five marks each and there will be 10 three markers. Right? So this is how the 80 marks are subdivided. Now even this question paper follows a template. For example, here is the question paper template for paper 1 and here in paper 1 we have two versions okay version 1 and version 2 and remember this is with respect to the long essay just take a look at the long essays here in case of version 1 or the version 2 you will definitely have a question from head and neck the long essay in both the version will be from head and neck only but if it is version 1 the other long essay will be from upper limb or if it is version 2 the other long essay will be from thorax. So what we can infer from this is your long essays will be from either head and neck or the upper limb or thorax right so you will definitely have a long essay which comes from head and neck the upper limb and thorax could alternate. Right? So this is regarding long essay and based on the long essay from which section it appears there will be minor changes that will appear in short essay but remember this will definitely follow this blueprint. Right? So this is very important to take a look the version 1 and version 2. Right? Similarly even for paper 2 we have the same thing. But before that, let's take a look at the MCQ section. 
even the mcq section for paper 1 and paper paper 1 has version 1 and version 2 there will be minor modifications but again if we come to paper 2 right again paper 2 has version 1 and version 2 now take a look here in paper 2 which section is common surprisingly it is lower limb so you will definitely have a question long essay from lower limb and the other long essay could be either asked from the chapter of abdomen or the section of pelvis so remember in paper one it is the head and neck question which will definitely appear and the other long essay is from either thorax or upper limb whereas in case of paper two one long essay will be definitely from lower limb the other long essay will be from either abdomen or pelvis based on the long essay from which chapter or section is appearing rest of the short essays and short answers will vary but again it will follow the blueprint right so this is how your papers will be set and one set this is how your question paper will actually look right so mcq paper will have four versions where there will be change of order of the question questions will not be changed only the question order will be changed so version a b c and d so the friend who is sitting next to you will not have the same question paper pattern right the mcqs will be jumbled up right so once this is done this is how your descriptive paper will look which will carry 80 marks right even before you answer the question paper it's always ideal to take a look at all the questions by spending three to four minutes and then start answering right so even before you devise your strategy this is the first thing that you must understand right the question paper blueprint and you must be aware of the question paper template all the best for your exams